heck? Whoa, who's Toke? You don't look like a Yakun. Or, uh, Yakuan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's time to meet the other clan already? I haven't even managed to go down to the beach yet. Wow, can you imagine all of the gossip spreading all over the village this morning, my friends? But hello everyone and welcome back to our adventures here in Roots of Pacha, where I have just passed out in my bed with a bunch of sun-dried tomatoes in my pockets and a whole bunch of dirt all over my hands after crushing pebbles so that I could make wild, silly gardens right outside our home, all while riding an Ibex, like I said, busy day. And now we have another amazing busy day because it looks like there's another new clan. I'm not. Do you need help, old man? <laughs> oh, grab, ouch. Old man! You know, I, I like how they offered to help, though. That was pretty cool. Is it the body? Is this the body of an old man? Sorry. I shouldn't disrespect my elders. <laughs> I like Toke. That's it. Strength battle. Oh my gosh. I thought he was actually going to fight, but now they're going ahead and they're like hauling rocks. Oh, that's so hilarious. What's happening? Oh, hey, Vala! Wow, look at her eyes. Hey, Zeta! Wow, you look so cool! Just our brother being our brother. Oh, so it's a whole set of siblings this time. Let's see what's on the other side. I like Zeta. She's curious. Oh, I love this. This is so wonderful, friends. Wow! Time for another party! You have a waterfall and haven't even jumped off it? Oh, so Inz, oh, Inz is visiting. Uh-oh, I think we're about to see the two, the two feuding groups come together. I was thinking about it. Wait, we have, oh yeah, we do have, do we have, yeah, we do have a waterfall. Huh. Sure you were. <laughs> okay, oh boy, here it goes. This is a lot of people. Too many to be Yakun, uh, Yakuan. Yep, here we go. We're Pachins. Aren't you a little far from home? Pacha called us to this place. Oh, look, she's zipping. I see. Then be careful of the Yakuans. They can be seen around this area. Inza is... Oh, so only Inza was visiting. She's gone. One was here? You have to be careful. They hide their tentacles well. <laughs> Versus the fangs that they were told. Uh, that uh, apparently these guys have. And Vala, our last keeper was attacked by them. We don't talk about that. Sorry. Okay, I like Z Zeta. She like really is actually like efficient. Search for where you need to go, assess how many people there are, assess threats, try to make sure that you get potential allies on your side. Well, I'm Zeta, the leader of the Mogurani. I'm Jin, the leader here. I hope our clans can be friends. No wonder she's so good at it. She is the leader. <laughs> Your beautiful fire tells me that Quiro is pleased with you. I think we'll get along well. Every time anyone mentions the fire, Jag is so proud. Just beware of those Yakuans. They can't be trusted. Thank you. We'll consider your warning. Heck! Tentacles and things! I wonder what on earth they say about us. Maybe that we have like bushy squirrel tails. <gasps> wow. Well, all right, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Another busy day. I wonder if anyone wants my like dried tomatoes. <laughs> but let's go ahead and visit with these new villagers. But let's check in, you know, with our shaman and our leader first. Ada and I were born on the same the same day. I don't know what life would be like without my sister. That's really cool, Vok. Jin? Come train with Grob and me sometime. Having quick reflexes is good for the body. Okay, maybe we need to be ready for battle? I I is that what you're telling me? Pare? Right. Do you think that the Mograni were what Inza said? Dangerous? I don't know. Let's talk to the rest of our friends here. Sometimes I bring plans to Ada as an excuse to visit. I hope she'll go back to teaching me about them soon. Oh wow, so Ioli has been like kicked out of training entirely? That's wild. Ivan? Ada actually asked if she can do my chores. I praise Pasha for her every day. So Ada's her little sister. Jelrod? Fresh air and friends. That's all I need in life. Well? Well, and he also really likes to be the best at what he does. I have to really give that some thought. 
I'm so glad we have Ada. I have uh, I have no idea what we do when our body needs fixing. Wait, no, Ada does. Wait a second. Hold up. Okay, Atta and Ada. Good. I was about to be like, I'm on. You are not making our old woman healer do your chores, are you? Uh, can I ask her to dance? <gasps> I can actually dance with Ibon now! Yay! That makes me really happy. I actually think her birthday is next week too. You know how to take things up a notch. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, and we met the Mograni, people of the fire, live to the north. They're the ones at odds with the Yakuans. I have a feeling we're gonna get caught up in all of that. Let's see, rock pillar. They designed a place for the animals to live with them. That's when we had the rock shed. Um, and then fire in their hearts. They met a clan that lived in the great mountains of the north. They became friends and shared knowledge and resources. They got to know each other better. They worked together to build a home filled with sweetness. They traded that which was native to their clans. They explored the culinary arts the northern clan shared with them. Huh. You know, they, they do sound like they'd be interesting to go and like visit their home. I'm just glad, uh, and Oka, what do you have to say about all this? I'm glad Juke can talk to Jizu about clothes. My eyes just glaze over. <laughs> all right, everybody is so cute. Uh, I should probably go ahead and call Jasper my mount and see what's going on up to the north, if you ask me. Hey, Aker. I'm so, oh yeah, Aker, we already talked about that. And I can dance with Aker now too. That's so cute. Come on, everybody knows how to have a good time in this clan. We're gonna, we're gonna teach the North and the South that all you really need is uh, work hard, play hard. That is like the theory of my life. And also what my dad like literally raised me talking about all the time. Uh, oh, but here we go. Speaking of working hard for the sake of the clan, it's time to go ahead and turn in all of those sun-dried tomatoes that we actually created from the gigantic tomato harvest of yesterday and a couple of the wild potatoes. We still don't have the ability to turn them into a more useful food, but I hope one day we will. Right now, an eight contribution vegetable stew? I'm actually going to interpret that as a sign that perhaps my cooking isn't anywhere close to knock and tares, so it makes sense why nobody would be too excited about it. And let's try out this new horn. Bah! Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> and there is Jasper. So let's talk to the members of the Moragi. Hello, I'm Vala. I'm Zeta, leader of the uh, Morani. There we go. I'll get it right eventually. Um, all I have is rose hips. Do I have anything else that I could offer? I don't know what counts as being like native to our land. Is there anything up here that I can snag? Not really. We need all of those crops for eating. And there's some like wild carrot seeds, but that's about it. Uh, gosh. So is this the way to like get to their place? Oh, it is. Look, these two are still having a strength battle. That's so funny. No, I wanted to see. Oh, my, my mount and everything. Oh my gosh. Kind of busy. Small talk with strangers isn't my thing, but I'm talk. <laughs> and meanwhile, like Jasper's totally not impressed and he was just ready to go ahead and take a nap in the river. <gasps> what is that? It's so cute! It's so small and rodent like and I love it! Oh my gosh, oh, oh! Okay, we discovered garlic and uh, Smilodons or, or cave lions or something all at the same time. I am suddenly extremely grateful that we are atop our extremely like fast steed because I really might need Jasper's help here in just a second. <gasps> what? Oh my goodness. Is there anything that's gonna like pop up in the grasses? I am suddenly, no way. No way, like look at those. Look at those guys. Did you say they had a cub with them? Okay, going to investigate like what they're up to, probably not the best idea. Look at these grasslands. I thought the Moragi would like live somewhere like, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. My. Huh. Uh, I found an ostr ostrich. Ostrich? <laughs> okay, found an ostrich feather. Can I dig in this like 
hole right here? Maybe? No? Maybe I'll be able to do something in the future with that? Look at this open savanna. I'm... I'm... I'm just kind of agog with surprise and also slightly scared to, like, be a vulnerable prey creature running through these grasses that probably... Oh. Oh. Oh! A new achievement is ready to be sculpted. What? Go to the pyramid. An achievement is ready to be sculpted in the jungle's pyramid. What? I have just been summoned by Pacha all the way back to the jungle? <laughs> because I found buffalo poop? <laughs> Here we are, like it's poop, no description needed. Uh, it's gatherable, but I'm thinking that maybe either this could be used as fertilizer or something. And um, it's a baby bison. It is actually a baby bison. And I could actually attune them. To what song does the bison dance? Dust cloud bison. I love that. There's different types. Whoa. Okay. Can't take care of that. You know what? I want to tune it. It's cute. I don't know what we would do with the bison. Whoa, its song is so different. Wow. a difficult song to do but i mean sure i want to go ahead and like we can attune them a brown fluffy bison there's another oh what color is that one over there there's a pell bison and then whoops okay a lot of the bison are curious about this and then what about this one so this is just like a normal a normal colored bison wow are there any like little male bison because okay are there any are they literally set up like an actual herd where there's like only one male? Whoops, I did not mean to try to attune this one, but here we are. I'm kind of scared to go ahead and try to like fish in the savannah because I'm worried there's gonna be like a crocodile that just leaps out. But you know, you won't know until you try, maybe? I'm sure Pacha will protect me. Somebody needs to be uh, like ridiculously obsessed with a whole bunch of plants. And it is the bark bison. So I wonder if there's only this one male. Let me give the others a quick look because all of the little ones, no, there's another male. Okay, I just wanted to see because all of the little ones were females. All right. And meanwhile, Jasper makes a very good mount and he is wonderful from our forest. So can I actually? Um, oh, this is such a beautiful plant. There's so much to discover. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Like, is this, is this something I can collect too? <gasps> it's olives! Can we make oil out of that? Because that would be so fantastic. And what about this? Can I start like a fire there? Oh, I've got so many questions. Wait, did I just stumble on something hiding in the grass? Okay, I need a stronger, I can break those rocks. Wow! Oh, there's so much to explore! What about these? Oh, it's not ready to harvest. What about this? <gasps> Wheat! I have just discovered the future of bread. Which is, alas, I cannot actually eat in real life. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, that's what I get for having a lot of Asian genes. Uh, because, like, I can eat rice, but cannot process the gluten. Oh. <laughs> but maybe here. Also, what are you? I love you. It is the precursor to the modern llama, the guanaco. And it is orange, and I love it. Oh my gosh, look at this white one. <gasps> oh my gosh, are these babies? Oh my gosh. They're like giant bunnies. <laughs> Are you like, are your ears longer than normal? Or is it just because you're like a day aquatic? What is going on? Like, it looks like a giant rabbit. I love it. Oh my gosh. What do I do with this? I'm so in love. I just, okay. Oh my goodness. And I think they're eating beets. They're eating beets. There's so many seeds. 
I should not have made, there's a night Quantico. There's an ostrich. There is an ostrich. This is not a drill. It is an orange earth ostrich. Look at its babe. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, I got it. I gotta get more animal sheds. I gotta, I gotta get more animal sheds. There's a mustard and an orange ostrich. I need more flute. I can't believe I've used up almost all my flute power today. How will I make up my mind? Oh, I love the music. It's so fun. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Okay, ostriches, you're so amazing. I'm so sorry that I didn't get like two hearts with you, my dear, but I promise I'll work really hard. <gasps> Look, the males have like the fluffy chest. Oh my gosh. And then we've got like another, no, no, no. That guy just has a fluffy chest just because. And then this is a like dust ostrich. So some of them have fluffy chests, some of them don't. Another little mustard ostrich. And this one's ebony. There's so many. I love all of them. We'll go ahead and attune this guy who has the fluffy chest. Without. Without Jasper's help, there's no way we would be able to trek through the savanna and find beets and wheat and all sorts of other. Oh, and olives and all sorts of other amazing things. Oh, okay, I really. I got too excited and I missed, like, the full appeal for the adult ostriches, but that's okay. All right, I should probably come down here. Oh, Guanaco, how I wish I could sing to you. <gasps> There's more plants. I found them where the milk thistle is growing wild. All right, definitely need to go ahead and I need my my wonderful, oh, okay, who, what, what, what? Have you been to the jungle? Air shouldn't be that wet or hot. What, what, would you like a, hello? Thanks. Okay. So Vala just like walks past us. So she must be home from having discovered us. Because they heard something happen, I suppose, over... Oh my gosh, and there's lavender now. <gasps> Tiny flowers with soothing scent to all but fleas. I know who's gonna like these. Oh, geez. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. What do I give? I guess the pretty flower to the boss? Maybe? She probably wants something more useful. Hello? Commanding respect is how I rose to power. Zeta, that's really cool. Um, can I give you this baby? Thanks, I guess. Okay, she's not really into it. And we can't trade with her just yet. Or dance with her. She doesn't know how cool we are and how like Pachins are are obsessed with plants and they're also like really, really nice and more plants. Like it would be really hard if I was supposed to go and and help out with some sort of trade mission because it would just be like, oh my god, oh my gosh, you have tiny mammoths. I, if I, if I could, I would sing my heart out with this flute. Oh, oh, I need more animal sheds. Forget forget oh oh that's not a tiny mammoth that is not a tiny mammoth but wait a second it's huge oh my gosh okay 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 wait maybe i don't want to tame a mammoth <laughs> um maybe i want to okay maybe i really want to reconsider this okay um I also probably need to start going home because it's already so dark, but there's so much to explore. I, I still haven't even tried fishing and the, I've found a bunch of the wild animal like herds, but not even close. Okay, wait a minute. Why are there bones over here? Oh, why are there bones in my hands now? Oh boy. Um, give structure to the animate and inanimate. Yes, I would prefer if like maybe like we didn't talk about bones rearranging themselves, but who knows what might happen in this world? So, what, what? What? Okay, clearly we need to go to the beach. I, I don't even, I can't even, I, I can't even. We have hardly even scratched the surface of the savanna. I need everything. 
I need, I need, I need like more animal sheds. I need a place to go ahead and like put this food. I need like something I can trade to to them so that they can convince their ostriches that I am amazing. I need to figure out what those ant nests are for. I need to find some way to tame the lions that are over there without dying. I, I, I mean, wow. <laughs> I needed an adventure and I sure did find one, friends. Oh my gosh. Uh, also, I would prefer not to get eaten, you know, by everybody in the middle of the night. So let's keep riding home. How do I even process that? What do I even do with all of this cool stuff that- <gasps> I haven't watered the crops! Um, do I give it away as gifts? Oh geez, okay. <laughs> okay, I think I need to frantically water the crops. Oh geez, and I passed up the, the, the contribution pot because I got so nervous. Uh, okay, hey Mana. Nock makes a delicious soup, but he started ruining it by putting mushrooms in it. Okay, good to know she hates mushrooms. Do you like feathers? You are wearing some. This will be useful to the clan. Thanks. Okay, I hope it was useful as a gift versus useful for 48? It would have been a lot more useful. I, I, I'll keep the poop. It would have been a lot more useful <laughs> to go ahead and, and, okay, maybe I need to keep the wild olives because there's not really a way to get it yet. And I mean, milk thistle for eight, I could go ahead and like, okay, we're gonna donate all the lavender though. Okay, we're gonna donate those things because we need to contribute somehow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I should have, I should have kept it. Hey, Carrot Hop, I love you. I, I would give you some noms, but I am afraid my pockets are a little empty. Okay, I need like a lie down after that because that was amazing. However, there is no lying down when you have forgotten your duty to Pacha and to your clan and have not watered all of the crops yet. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of this duty, including... <laughs> Are you guys ready to harvest? Yes! Harvesting some of the wild tomatoes. If we're really lucky, maybe I'll even be able to go ahead and get some of those things planted that we just, like, collected. Wow! Down over by our gardens. And maybe Grandpa will even have some new seeds with some of the wonderful, like, olive trees ready to go ahead and, and grow tomorrow. And I'll have to figure out, should we finish exploring the savannah? Or should we make our first foray down to the beach so that we can visit with the other tribe and also see what bounty they might be hiding? Oh, this is, this is very exciting. Also, how are you doing, Kessler? It's good to see you. I, I would have kept like the flea repellent plants for you, but like we've got a we've got a lot going on. <sighs> oh, but all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you guys would like to join us on this leafy chaos, you know what to do. But until next time, my friends, stay curious. And I hope that you find something surprising and amazing and fun that just makes you smile today. See you guys next time. Oh, bye.